I'm sitting down with Dr. Winnie Mpanju Shimbushu, the Assistant Director General of the World Health Organization. Today we're going to be chatting about the Sustainable Development Goals and how the WHO plans to implement those. Well, let's get right into it. We want to talk about Sustainable Development Goals. Um, we're going to be starting those January 2016. Tell me how these differ from, from the goals that we've seen in the past. The Sustainable Development Goals are more comprehensive and they're more interconnected and they require that we work across many sectors together to be able to achieve the complementary uh, outcomes that we are seeking to achieve. So for example, it's very difficult to achieve healthy and sustainable lives if you don't reduce poverty, if you don't eliminate poverty. So it's all about uh, simultaneous actions on many fronts to ensure that uh, we are looking at health in a more holistic way and in a more sustainable way. Now the Millennial Development Goals focused mostly on developing countries. Will we see that with the Sustainable Development Goals? Well, the World Health Organization works with all countries to put in place uh, national policies, national strategies, national plans to address the health and well-being of the people. It's not just about uh, developing countries. We seek to improve health in it its holistic form in all populations across the world. So the role of the health, health World Health Organization in the Sustainable Development Goals is going to be very critical. We will need uh, to have uh, the right norms and standards from the World Health Organization to guide countries in the implementation. We will also need to have the kind of policy guidance that WHO gives to, uh, works with countries to put in place to make sure that we are using evidence-based strategies and plans to improve the health of people wherever they are. Now we're talking about strategies and plans. Can you maybe give us an example of how the WHO has worked with, with a government to, to implement uh, a plan like this? We have global strategies. And as you saw in the conference today, we were talking about the NTB strategy which is built within the framework of the Sustainable Development Goals. Because that's our bread and butter, to work with governments and civil society and communities to put in place the kind of tools that will allow us to, to reach the Sustainable Development Goals. Do you see any challenges in your future while with implementing these goals? There are many challenges, but also there are many opportunities. The challenges include, for example, that we will need to mobilize uh, tremendous amounts of financing to meet uh, the needs that are required for us to, to attain the sustainable development goals. We will also need to ensure that there is enough human resource to be able to work across uh, the different areas, but also to work in a fashion that is collaborative enough to deliver on the common challenges. Now, as we both know, some countries are actually not only hard for, for us as regular people to reach, but even for the World Health Organization to reach. How are you going to implement these goals in, in those particular countries? As you know, WHO has presence in all the countries, irrespective of income level or irrespective of whether or not they are in conflict. We have presence in all these countries. And we work very hard, yeah, despite the odds, to engage with, with governments, but also with uh, civil society, and also to stimulate the kind of discussion that's needed within a given country to make sure that uh, the, the vulnerable groups, the key populations are being reached by the interventions, and also to work with um, non-government organizations who are on the ground and who have more um, ability to, to go the extra miles to reach uh, the hard to reach populations. So for us as WHO, you know, the job is to make sure that we reach the last person uh, who needs to be reached within the sustainable development goals so that no one is, is left behind. And our normative guidance and tools actually give uh, guidance on how to go about working in, uh, for example, fragile states and uh, you know, countries where there are conflicts, but also how to reach um, the, the vulnerable groups, the children, the women, and uh, people in prisons, for example, or people in the mining sector who really 
need to be reached by the interventions if indeed we are going to eliminate the diseases and attain health uh, for all people.